As protests over the death of George Floyd continue to grip Washington, D.C., the historic St. John's Church, located just a block from the White House, has become a focal point. The church basement was damaged by fire during nighttime protests on May 31st. President Trump walked to the church the following day and took a now controversial photo. Minutes before his arrival, authorities fired tear gas and rubber bullets into a crowd of peaceful protesters in front of the church. This was a charade that in some ways was meant to bolster a message that um, does nothing to calm to calm the soul and to reassure the nation that we can recover from this moment. St. John's is an Episcopal church. It was built in 1815 and is often referred to as the Church of the Presidents. In fact, Pew 54 is considered the President's Pew, reserved for the President's use when visiting. Every president since James Madison has attended at least one service there, according to the church's website. Before his inauguration ceremony in 1933, President-elect Franklin D. Roosevelt attended a service at St. John's. Many presidents have followed his tradition since, including former President Barack Obama. Though he did not belong to a D.C. church while he was in office, he frequented St. John's. Trump attended a service there ahead of his swearing-in ceremony in 2017, and again later that year to mark a national day of prayer for victims of Hurricane Harvey. Trump's last service at St. John's was on St. Patrick's Day in 2019. While the church usually draws about 400 people on weekends, it has been closed since mid-March due to restrictions in place to combat coronavirus.